We appreciate your visit and want to welcome you to Ancient Egyptian Books. You can help us by liking, following, and subscribing. Who is the 11th God in the chronology of ancient Egyptian gods? Is the topic of discussion in this video. The older narrative is more aligned with the rise of the chaos in Osiris Kingdom after the birth of Horus. We will go into more detail about this in forthcoming videos. The only time that Seth had to defend himself was when he fought off the serpent in defense of Osiris on the Nile River. It is also untrue that Seth killed his brother Osiris, dismembered him, and spread the pieces throughout ancient Egypt. It was not in the ancient Egyptians' god's nature to engage in any wicked behavior. So it is not true when scholars say that Seth was a jealous god of his brother Osiris. Scholars, historians, and archaeologists have always addressed god Seth, as an evil god who was always jealous of his brother Osiris. This story is a lie. The ancient Egyptians in their own words explained that gods do not practice evil. On the topic of the god Seth, we will reveal to you that the ancient Egyptians respected Seth as a god equal to his older brother Osiris, and was glorified in many ways as the protector of god Osiris. The stories of ancient Egypt have always been told to us in books, music, movies, paintings, and many other ways by scholars, historians, and archaeologists who got paid to do a job. The god Seth is the third child of the goddess Tefnut, and the eleventh god in the ancient Egyptian chronology of gods. He later assumed the duty of protector of Osiris, his older brother. It's important to remember that, according to ancient Egyptian records, it is not in God's nature to practice jealousy, crime, fight, or murder. In other words, the ancient Egyptian gods practiced sinless, they were gods solely of moral character. It wasn't until the birth of Horus that ancient Egyptians started recording sinful activities. The ancient Egyptian gods believed that only those born of the heart were capable of engaging in unethical activities, as stealing, killing, and deceiving. At the council meeting of goddess Maat, it was noticed that the heart prohibited Horus from entering the spiritual realm, and that only immortals can enter the spiritual world. The gods believed that the heart was the energy source that powers the human body. Goddess Tefnut, who is the mother of Osiris and Seth, asked Seth to escort his brother Osiris, to the goddess Maat council meeting. Seth is shown in many depictions fending off a serpent believed to have come out in favor of Horus to prevent them from attending the council meeting as they travel on a canoe in the Nile River. The serpent act was noted by the ancient Egyptians as the first crime against a god. Following his victory over the serpent in the Nile River, god Seth was able to lead Osiris to the council meeting safely. The council meeting was convened by the goddess of truth and justice, Ma to determine Horus' status among the gods. At the conclusion of the council meeting, it was agreed that Horus and his offspring, mankind born of the heart, would have to work independently to fulfill the god statute. The goddess Ma devised the judgment scene during this council meeting as a measurement of righteousness for people seeking entrance into the spiritual world. The first pharaoh of ancient Egypt, Horus, was crowned as the father of all future pharaohs. Subscribe for more videos like this.